Japanese food. They bent our box. The seafood, seafood, I think it's seafood of some description. They got it to take away and a lovely, <laughs> I was walking down the street and a lovely Japanese man in like full apron was like, excuse me. And he chased me, <laughs> chased me down the street and he gave me the teriyaki sauce that he forgot to include, which was very lovely. So let's, let's have, let's try some of this, shall we? All right, so we got the teriyaki sauce. Um, how do I get into this? It smells good, it's hot too. Clearly rice, some kind of salad, and then this looks like sushi tuna avocado, some kind of tempura, I think okra. Oh, I got a little fish. I love these little fish. I think these are octopus balls, and then what looks like squid and uh, prawns. Mm. Oh my god, that's so good. Crispy, savory, delicious. Let me dip it in this. My goodness, this is actually delicious. But the tuna, I think, looks like tuna. This sauce is really nice, it's really sweet. Oh, we got a cockatoo for company. There's nowhere else in Australia that has cockatoos that harass you for food like this. Usually it's seagulls, but Lawn has so many cockatoos who just don't care. <laughs> it's good. Hand rolls are not really my thing personally, but still nice. Very gooey. They're nice. They're hot. They're savory. I don't... Yeah, I don't really taste octopus, but to be fair, I don't really know what octopus tastes like, so... Is that seaweed? Some kind of green stuff? It isn't lettuce. Oh, it's chewy. It's like crunchy, kind of. I think that's seaweed. Wow. That's actually good. Usually I don't love seaweed, but that is delicious. All right, let's try this. It looks like squid. Cockatoos don't typically savagely attack you in the way <laughs> in the way magpies do. Oh my god, they're coming for me. Nice, it's nice. Lemony? So, Jesus Christ. I was a kookaburra. I'm under attack. That came right at my face. Did you see that? I'm scared. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna take my food back to Simone. This is too much. There's the offender. Yeah, what do you have to say for yourself? And this is like <laughs> directly where I am. <laughs> ah. Alright, hi. I'm back in the safety of Simone. That was too intense, too much wildlife, up close and personal. I was like, am I being dramatic? Let me watch that back on the GoPro. And no, I was not being dramatic. That kookaburra nearly took my eyeball out. Anyway, the squid's delicious. It's <laughs> It's got a lemony like bite to it. Um, it's a little harder to eat in the passenger seat than it is on a, at a table, but I, I want to keep all my eyeballs, so this is what's happening. I'm watching poor people <laughs> also eating and getting attacked by cockatoos. It's crazy out here, man. This is the Wild West. All right. Here's the squid that the kookaburra so desperately wanted. It's not rubbery in the way that squids can sometimes be. It's nice and like tender. All right. I want another prawn. This was the best. Oh my god. It's so good. Something about fried food, man. It's delicious. I'm gonna save this bite for last because it's so good. We've got some, well, looks like fried okra. Not my favorite vegetable, but anything in tempura is pretty good. <laughs>
it smells incredible. <laughs> like getting out of your car and just stepping into a rainforest. Experiencing car issues. I will say Samarin has started revving in a somewhat interesting way. Slightly higher revs than usual, and I don't know why. The temperature's fine, the fuel's fine. I think it's fine. I just don't want to break down on the Great Ocean Road. <laughs> just as long as we can make it to Apollo Bay, we'll be okay. in Apollo Bay successfully. Uh, Samarin I think is fine. I think she's fine. I think it's just been a bit of a long drive for both of us. We'll do some exploring together, shall we?
my hostel. This is my room. It's pretty nice. So yeah, I'm just gonna, I guess, go get food. I'm not super hungry because I ate not that long ago. I don't know what to do because <laughs> it gets dark so early. I can't, I was walking around, but it's getting kind of gloomy out there. So I don't know. Might walk down the main street, see if I can find some food. I might go to the supermarket actually and get some snacks. Maybe. All right. Hi. Sorry. It's dark. Uh, but it's winter, <laughs> so that happens. Um, I went to the IGA, got some snacks, got a frosty fruit, uh, which for the uninitiated is basically just like a icy pineapple kind of thing. It's good. I've surveyed the options I have for dinner. There's like four restaurants open. They're all dead, <laughs> uh, which is totally reasonable. It's a random Monday uh, in July. It's kind of nice out here, but there's not much daylight left at all, as you can tell. So the only busy restaurant is this place which is a Chinese restaurant so I got takeaway by accident the guy at the front asked me if I wanted takeaway and I said yeah thanks instead of no I'll eat here <laughs> all right here they are they're hot I might have to go on a mission to find a fork <laughs> and cabbage dumplings. I think they're steamed, not fried. I do like a fried dumpling because of the crispiness, but steamed can also be very good. Pretty good. I just realized I'm hungry and this is exactly what I need. Hey, good morning. I have made a controversial decision. Uh, we're gonna skip the 12 apostles. <laughs> I know that for most people the point of a Great Ocean Road adventure is to see specifically the 12 apostles, but I've done the maths, it's gonna add an extra three hours of driving. And there's other cool stuff I want. I want to go see if I can find a koala at Kennet River and, and that kind of thing, which is on the way home. Um, but this, yeah, it's 90 minutes up the road, so I'd have to drive 90 minutes up the road, 90 minutes back to Apollo Bay, and then all the way home again. And the nice thing for me is I live pretty close by so I can come see them whenever I want. I'm gonna go down to Marengo, have a little walk around, come back to Apollo Bay for lunch, and then we'll go home via Kennet River. I think that's the plan. Sounds good to me. I slept pretty well by my standards. The bed was very nice. So I paid $94 for my room, which sounds like kind of a lot, and it is, but this is a tourist town. That's kind of the one of the cheaper prices for a bed, and um, YHA is always good, so I'm pretty happy. All right, let's go to Marengo, shall we?
Um, can you see out here this rock? That's where all the seals live. You used to be able to do like a boat tour out to that rock. Um, I don't know if they still do that, but yeah, it's pretty cool here. It's pretty rugged. There's some. This is the start of like the Great Ocean Walk. My morning coffee. I wish I drank coffee. I just don't like the taste. It would be so much classier <laughs> to have a coffee than a Red Bull. But anyway, that's just how it is. Um, yeah, this is like a four minute drive from Apollo Bay. Uh, and it's very cool down here, so. Yeah, we'll have a look around. Obviously the GoPro doesn't zoom, but you can see, like, you can hear how big they are. I don't know how to quite put it into perspective for you. But there, there are a lot of feet. <laughs> probably, like, the biggest ones are probably at least two meters. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool down here. This is like a three, four minute drive from Apollo Bay. Um, Lots of people, I imagine, skip over it because it's between Apollo Bay and the Twelve Apostles. But it's really nice down here. Yeah, the ocean here is no joke. I would not swim unless it's calm and you know what you're doing. Even then, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I should really not be this close to this. But it's so cool. <laughs> I have no idea where this goes. <laughs> yeah, the tide is definitely coming in. This is where I was walking around about 20 minutes ago. Also, there's another surfer out there you definitely can't see, but uh, apparently this is spot to surf. I could never. It's like actually such a nice day. Like the sun is out. I'm almost I could almost take off my jumper, almost. <laughs> it's still July. <laughs> but the, the sun is shining, the ocean is huge, so I'm gonna go down and there's like a breakwater kind of bit, which I think will be pretty cool uh, with the sea as, as crazy as it is at the moment. wave to get me soaked. <laughs> Oops. It was kind of 
kind of expensive and I'm not super hungry. So I got the scallop pie from the bakery instead. Now I am going to be honest, I don't think I've ever had a scallop in my life ever. <laughs> and these are famous pies apparently. The lady at the counter told me it would be juicy so I got some napkins. It's pretty big. Cheesy. It's good, it's very creamy. It's like a thick kind of cheesy sauce. I think there might be leeks or onions. I found a scallop. Can you see that orange thing in there? That's the um the roe or the eggs, I think. So I'm gonna give it a try. Mm, that's delicious. It's so busy here <laughs> during the day. Look at all these tour buses. Crazy. I was here uh, I was at the start of the half marathon to Apollo Bay so the road that you just saw me drive on I ran <laughs> 23 kilometers uh, which is pretty pretty intense it was a pretty intense time there's some parrots up there um, yeah but if you want to see a koala in the wild in Australia this this is where you come you come to Kennet River no guarantees but it's pretty likely. definitely can't see on the GoPro but we found a little dude which is very cool I person I think if I was a koala I personally would <laughs> run away from Kennet River because you get a lot of attention um oh he's looking at me hi all right that was Kennet River very exciting to see a koala um, usually it happens here, you just gotta be patient. Alright, that just about does me. I might stop in Lawn or Anglesey, probably not Lawn. There's a <laughs> kookaburra there who <laughs> doesn't like me, apparently. It's so nice driving on the Great Ocean Road when the sun's out. I wouldn't do it at night, I've done that before. It's horrifying, just <laughs> terrible. But yeah, this has been my little little quick little road trip. Didn't hit all the touristy spots, but hit some spots that not many people tend to go to and I think it definitely was seeing. Like Marangra this morning was beautiful. Yeah, I'll either see you in Anglesey or that'll be it. So thanks for watching, appreciate it. Hope you enjoy it. See you later.